This is my fifth St. Patrick's Day playing with these guys. I remember seeing a videographer get out of the car, and I, I thought, this guy has no I idea what he's for on the day. Let's go. Go, go! So that's how you sneak in the news. What's Dick Gatter driving the Lexus? I think do whiskey in the jar instead of okay. one of one of whatever the other ones. Okay, we'll do whiskey in the jar then first. Instead of bar crawls. Alright. Instead of bar crawls? Yeah. Okay. Because remember that takes a little bit to get We down. learned a lot starting off with a little, I think. And um, the pubs have really shaped us in a way that we can pretty fend off we can fend off any terrible crowd. I don't know. But uh, next question. More on the forecast here is Scott. Patty, thank you very much. Yeah, the temperatures are running almost 25 degrees colder uh, than what it was yesterday afternoon. Had a high of 61. Get all coffee. Welcome. No, actually, I'm good. I don't have to be So the new station is very organized and it's very structured, and we have to be here at this time and do this, and it's prep and go. And then we go to House of Blues, and you can't hear each other from a foot away. And then we go to PJ McIntyre's and you're sitting there watching a full pipe band and drum corps uh, play songs that people played forever. What did I see? A, a couple thousand people that day and they all see it from stepping back. And, and I'm some guy that just lives my life every day and I get to see it from a perspective that no one else does. It's a bird's eye view of seriously one of the greatest days of my year. The beauty of St. Patrick's Day in Cleveland I've been, I've been noticing it since I was a small child. Um, ever since I had chicken pox on one day, I couldn't go out and celebrate it. Ever since I've been marching in the parade, um, fifing drums for the West Side IA, there's a lot to learn on St. Patrick's Day, whether you're young or old. But um, the beauty of this band is you've been watching bands your whole life, and now you finally get the opportunity to do it yourself and to experience on stage what no one else really, unless they're lucky, gets to experience. Vocal mics, please start with the center vocal mic. Center vocal. Check one, two. Check one, two. One, one, two. Check. Check one, two. Thank you. Thank you. Check one, two. One, one, two. Check one, two. Thank you. Okay, guys, in just a minute, we're going to run through the first number. Playing the drums for me has always been about feeling emotion and, um, and, and bringing, that, bringing you to where you need to be. Um, in the tune rather than you know just kind of playing through and playing the boom ba ba boom ba ba kind of stuff and you know bringing up bringing up the accents hitting you know bringing up and, and accentuating really uh the tune overall so it's 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 one of those things where you know like i said i take it very seriously overall so Mary's Lane for being with us this morning. Woo. You can see them live today at noon at the House of Blues, and then they'll be at PJ McIntyre's Irish Pub from 3 until 10 p.m. You can also check them out tomorrow at 5 p.m. at the Hair of the Dog Party at the Treehouse. Boy, they are busy. Head over to foxstate.com, <laughs> click on the Morning Show tab for all the details. Take it away. And it's no name ever. No name ever, no more. 
Well, I played in the Wild Rover. No, never the horn. Great guys, thank you. On to the next show. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of fun. We play the songs and we experience Irish culture in a way that a lot of people wish they could experience it. But this town, Cleveland, is one of the best towns in America. It rivals many big cities, but from the church to the parade, downtown, then we come to Cam's Corners, it's beautiful. I think the dynamic of the band, having three people who can sing songs, um, makes it interesting and makes, makes you able to play at a, um, a place where you're playing for six and a half hours and, and no one gets tired of, of what you're playing. Yeah, it's a good time. Being the drummer in the band is really kind of interesting um, because it, it, everybody's like, oh man, do you remember this part of the show? Do you remember that part of the show? I'm like, no man, I was in a complete, a complete other dimension. As the drummer of the band, you know, it, it's my job to, you know, give the crowd that feel, really accentuate, you know, what's being played up front, really kind of driving. Uh, being the driving force behind everybody else in the band and being kind of that backbone is, you know, I take that really seriously. But sometimes you'll have the one or two people that, you know, yell out your name while you're in the middle of playing a tune and, you know, you kind of give, give the old, hey, how's it going? But, uh, you know, for, for the most part, I, I'm usually in the zone. I'm usually somewhere else. To be at a Mary's Lane show, uh, at least about a two-hour set to start off with. Uh, we started that very early in the days. People used to call us the Grateful Dead of Irish music um, because we had played long two-hour sets, and uh, most of that was just because uh, make sure we didn't um, 
end up at the bar too early. The fans are great. Uh, they're very opinionated, uh, which we love, and they tell us when we mess up, they tell us when we're good, they tell us when they're bad, which is great. And in this, in this genre of music, to have fans that uh, come out and support you, especially as much as we play locally, as much as we play around the area, um, they're great. They come out everywhere, um, they, they dance, they sing, uh, they do some drinking. Uh, they help us, they, they buy us drinks and, and request songs and tell us what to play all night long. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good gig. Green car that he drove around the town So love he was just like you and I But you know they wish the Irishman would just lay down and die And he said no to so many a hero And to so many a crook scarce a look might fill your heart with fear But oh, that Robin Hood of Collinwood To many he was held so dear We started off playing backyard parties, small pubs, hole in the walls. We play festivals, we play pubs, we play downtown streets. It, it doesn't matter for us um, where they want us, we typically go. Scarce a look might fill your heart with fear, but all oh, that Robin Hood calling would come and he was held. Well, where can I put her? Where do I? All right, let's rock the best pub in town, PJ McIntyre's. We uh, we just did St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's our Super Bowl. A lot of bands don't have, but we have. We have a great thing that we hold sacred. It's it's our time of year that we love. And we work, we work our butts off, so we're Mary's Lane. Just getting home. No messages on this title phone. Now the dogs are howling, the stomach is growling, and there ain't no food in here except the shot in this beer. But it was one of those nights. 